Good evening, I'm Seth Meyers, and this is Late Night. How's everybody doing tonight? That's great to hear. Let's get to the news. There's just one week until Election Day, and whatever happens, it'll be nice when my email inbox doesn't look like I just broke up with it. The Senate yesterday confirmed President Trump's nominee, Judge Amy Coney Barrett, to the Supreme Court. And just think, someday you'll tell your children about this, whether you wanted children or not. During a swearing-in ceremony for Judge Amy Coney Barrett last night at the White House, President Trump said, quote, this is a momentous day for America, for the United States Constitution, and for the fair and impartial rule of law. Momentous in that it's the last day for all of those things. First Lady Melania Trump campaigned for her husband in Pennsylvania today, also Wisconsin, Iowa, Florida, North Carolina, and Texas. The New York Post endorsed President Trump yesterday in an editorial entitled, Make America Great Again, Again. And I'm not sure it's great when the title of your endorsement doubles as an admission of failure. Waiting for this guy to make America great is like waiting for your stoner friend to play the intro to Stairway correctly. He's, he's not going to get it. Just Let's just put the album on. You want to hear the song? Let's just put the album on. President Trump claimed on Twitter this morning that, quote, real polls say that he is winning the presidential election by a margin of six to three. President Trump traveled to Michigan, Wisconsin, Nebraska, and Nevada today, said the pilot, that's it, I'm asking for directions. I'm pretty sure I know how to get there. <laughs> Left. Oh, I remember that cloud. <laughs> According to a new survey, almost 25% of American parents say that the coronavirus pandemic has permanently changed their sense of time. And thank you to my guests, Natalie Portman, Cindy McCain, and Dave Matthews. Have a great weekend, everyone. Oh. It happened to me. Shoemaker, it happened to me. Mm -hmm. The thing in the setup happened mm -hmm. to me. Yep, yep. <laughs> Airlines have reportedly banned more than 900 passengers for violating face mask policies amid the coronavirus pandemic, and in some cases, mid-flight. Pizza chain Papa John's has announced that it will begin offering a new cheeseburger pizza, which will feature a huge portion of seasoned beef Melty cheese, zesty pickles, and signature burger sauces. That story again. Papa John is back, and he is wasted. Did you got to season the beef? You got to season it. Seasoned beef. Not as appetizing as I, I would have thought it was to the old ear. You got to season it. Yeah, really. The Washington Post has published tips for how to navigate the holiday season during the coronavirus pandemic. But let's be real, we should have been done with mistletoe well before COVID. And finally, wildlife officials in Florida announced last week that a rare two-headed snake was discovered after a cat dragged it into a resident's home. Said the homeowner, ah, get that cat out of here. And that was a monologue, you guys.